Hello friends, in this video we will see how we can detail the beams. Okay, so for that uh, let's see the rebars of the beam okay so we'll click on okay so for that click on this drop down menu over here and let's click on this window after that click on display design info and click on longitudinal reinforcing and click on okay so you got your uh, reinforcement values over here okay so you can take any beam here as an example but i'll take this beam over here as an example okay okay so here you can see that the top reinforcement bar requirement is given and also the bottom reinforcement requirement given okay so we'll see top separately and the bottom separately so once you know the top you can do the bottom similarly okay so we'll do only the top here right so here you can see that at the top you got 643 at the edge 173 at the mid and 635 at the edge so which means that you don't have to take all the bars from one edge to the other edge right so what you can do you can just take the bar or to up to certain limit and you can curtail those bars at that point so at which point we have to curtail we'll look it in a while okay all right so we, we have to give bars such, such that we make 643 mm square so first what we do we take uh, 173 and we uh, design the rebars for 173 mm square okay so let's open our excel and let's delete uh, these things all right so uh, let's do control z so until we get the value we designed for the column okay so now what we do we place uh, 16 mm bars two in numbers and we place zero for this and we got 402 right so 402 is the requirement is 173 okay so what you can do we can also place 12 mm bars so it's 226 mm square so now what we do is that we take 12 mm bars throughout from one edge to the other edge right so to get the value of 173 mm square so at this portion we provide the extra bars and so those extra bars we cut at certain length and we'll know the length in a while okay okay so let's do it over here at mid so what we do we provide pro vi vid provide two 12 it's a 212 mm dia bars right so let's enlarge this at mid we do so at at left edge okay so at the edge what we have to do we have to take two bars continuously from one end to the other end because you cannot have only two bars at this point right so you have to take from one end to the other end so uh, this is fixed now what you can do is for reaching the value of 6 uh, 338 we can now provide extra bars okay so we provide four extra bars at the top so it will give us as 678 mm square right so the required value is 643 mm square okay or you can place the 16 mm diameter bars as extra bars right okay so if you do a 16 you can have just two bars i guess 628 so the required is 643 so 16 will not do we have to place 12 mm so what you can do 16 2 and what you can do 12 1 we can do that or what you can do 12 we can place two bars okay so 452 and 16 1 and let's just drag this and this also control control z and let's drag this and let's okay and let's add these three values plus this one plus this one or you can do just auto sum okay so 653 and the required is 643 right so what you can do here we'll go with this option right so at the edge provide you have to provide two okay so two 12 mm dia bars again we provide provide here of the okay so provide 12 mm dia bars as extra and again we provide pro vid provide 2 1 16 mm dia bar as extra okay so now how to place these extra bars we'll know in a while 
and in the right is what you can do so the okay so the requirement is similar right 643 and 635 they are similar so we can go with this detailing again so at the at right end what we do at at right edge Okay, again, right as we provide the same reinforcement. Okay, so now let's see how we can draw this in the AutoCAD. So I open this AutoCAD over here, right? So uh, let's take uh, this beam over here as an example, beam B3. We numbered the columns like C1, C2, C3 based on the similar reinforcement detailings. Same thing we do for the beams as well. For example, if this beam, this beam, and this beam have the same reinforcement detailings, we name them as B1. And if in this beam, this beam has got uh, same reinforcement detailing, we name them as B2. And these two beams we name as B3, so on and so forth, okay? All right, so after that, so let's first see the plan and you can see the length of the beam that is from one column to the other column. So center to center column length. You can see over here that, so this is your section five five, this is your section six six, and this is also your section five five. If we see the section five five, what we have done, we have provided 25 diameter bar two in numbers and 20 diameter bar two in numbers throughout the beam, which means that, so these 25, mm bar two in numbers and 20 mm bars two in numbers will go from one end to the other end okay so you can see at the edge we got the same detailing and at the mid also we got the same detailing right so they will go from one end to the other end of the beam and here also we have got the same thing right and at the left edge we provide 20 mm diameter bars three in numbers that are extra okay so here you can see 20 mm diameter bar three in numbers that are extra and the extra bars must go up to a distance of L by 3 from the center of this column. So why is it's L by 3? Because in every beam we design for the three parts, okay? So we divide the entire span of the beam into three parts. So L by 3, L by 3, and L by 3. And we design for this edge, mid portion, and this edge, okay? So same reinforcement we saw in this app, right? All right, so for our detailing, what we do? We provide two 12 mm diameter bars throughout from one end to the other end and these two are similar bars right and after that what we do we provide two 12 mm diameter bars as extra bars that is okay so that is what we do we we take the bars from here that is ld and take up to a distance of l by 3 two 12 mm diameter bars and curtail at l by 3 right similarly we do for the 116 mm diameter bar we curtail at this point if you have to see the section so what we'll have you'll have one two 12 mm bars at the corners and one two bars 12 mm bars at the extra bars and one 16 mm bar as the extra bar okay so this is how you detail your top reinforcement and here you can see that if you go to the sap 2000 you can see that 635 and 572 are almost similar right so in that situation if you can go with the lower values of the reinforcement it's preferable not to do that if it's a very high variation like if it's 635 and here you get like 200 mm square in that situation you can go with the lower value of the reinforcement but in this situation you have to go with the same value of the reinforcement because the bars that go from here like this okay so let me draw okay so i'm gonna draw it right now so if, if the bars go like this from here so if you have got different reinforcement detailings here and here in that situation what happens is that you have to take the bar into the column right so these bars go into the column the extra bars right and here these bar also go into the column that makes the column very much congested and it's very hard to pour the concrete into that column so in this situation you provide same reinforcement detailing at this position also at this position in that situation what you can do is that you can take the bars from here like two uh, two 12 mm diameter bar extra bars you can take from here up to this point only okay so you can take from here into the other beam right so i guess it's shown over here like this okay like this bar right so this is the extra bar right so this bar this bar hasn't been taken into the column but it goes into the other beam right okay so this is how you detail your beams okay so similar thing you can go you can do for the bottom bars okay so in the top bar we got extra bars at the edge and in the bottom we got extra bars at the mid because at the mid if you see the sap 2000 you can see that the reinforcement at the bottom is less as compared to the edges but normally in the beams what happens is that uh, this value is higher than these two values okay so in that situation you have to provide extra bars at this position and those extra bars must extend up to you can see over here 
up to L by 7 from the center of the column okay so this is the bottom extra bar you can see you can curtail at this position and this is L by 7 from the center of the column okay so if you want to know how to read these structural drawings in detail you can take my other course and you'll learn all these things in very much detail okay all right so if you see in the bottom you can see that 25 mm diameter bars twin numbers and 20 mm diameter bar twin numbers that go throughout this throughout this beam at the bottom and if you see the section 66 that is the mid section you can see that 25 two mm bars twin numbers and 20 uh, mm diameter bar twin numbers so these two bars are these two bars okay so that has been continued from one edge to the other edge right and 20 mm diameter bar two in number this is the extra bar that has been provided okay all right so this is how you detail your beam and in the next video we'll see how to detail these stirrups